Hello and greetings to everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take 50 megapixel photos with your OnePlus One phone. That is right, 50 megapixel photos, even higher resolution than the Nokia 1020 phone and some DSLRs available on the market today. This feature is originally from the Oppo Find 7 and 7A phones running Color OS. This, however, could be found maybe on the upcoming release of Oxygen ROM. So recently around February 14th, which is Valentine's Day, this feature was made possibly primarily by Boot MGR, who did the camera porting over to Cyanogen Mod 11 stock. We also should thank uh, DPAC112358, Infinity Plus, and Andrew Man for providing the required files and plugin support. The 50 megapixel photo ability works by image interpolation, which if you would like to know how it works, a link in the video description is provided. How is accomplished and achieved? Well, that's beyond me. Excuse my French here, but the photo quality and resolution is f***ing ridiculously awesome. Well anyways, here's how to get started. So at the time of this recording, you need to have a OnePlus One phone running CM11S. That is a stock version of CyanogenMod 11. In the future, other ROMs may be supported. Just a note, you do not have to be rude to use this feature. And lastly, we need to go to the XDA developer forums where this port was done to get the required files as well as to check for updates. So here's the link up here. Of course, this will be provided in the video description as always. And currently the camera is on version 4, that's uh, denoted by right here. And also, uh, just a note that uh, the plugins is, was recently taken down to DMCA, which kind of sucks. So if you're unable to find the plugins yourself, just message me uh, privately and I can provide them to you. However, I was, I was fortunate to download them before they got removed, so I already have them on my desktop. So I'm going to download this plugin right now. So this is just a media fire link, so I'll just save it here to my desktop. So here I have some plugins right here that was available for uh, DMCA. And here's the latest camera uh, beta 4 app. So I'm going to connect this to my phone right now. Okay, so here's my phone. Now it's on, uh, what's well, nagging me? Uh, that it can use USB 3, which is kind of false. Internal storage. So now I'm going to transfer this APK file over, the, the camera app itself, and then you're going to need the, the Super Zoom HD camera APK because that's the 50 megapixel function here. So I've already transferred that. And also, I mean, there's some other good plugins. I think the professional camera app is also really good, and as well as the raw picture because the raw photo support is always excellent to have. So I'll transfer that as well. But I will just uh, show you that you just only need these uh, only need the super zoom and the um, Oppo camera as well. So now um, I've already transferred everything, so I'll just close out of these windows. Here I am on my OnePlus One. So using a file manager, I like to use Root Explorer since it's a really good file manager and it's easy to use. Uh, we can now install our application, so we're going to install the camera app. So just view the permissions and stuff. Go to install. Give it a few seconds to uh, install. Go to done, and then we can install the plugins. So we want to install, of course, the ones that transferred to my uh, phone. Most important would be the Super Zoom HD camera, because uh, that's the one that provides the 50 megapixel support. The other plugins don't use that much space, so you might as well install them. There's up to, I believe, maybe 18 plugins available at the time of this recording, so quite a bit of a few uh, options you can have. So now we're going to open up my uh, OnePlus One camera. So here's my OnePlus One camera now. So if we uh, go to the little uh, arrow icon by the, um, by the camera shutter and we select the HD picture, now we go to the gear icon, we can see that the resolution is now at 50 megapixels can change a bunch of other settings so I'm going to go to uh, enable assistant line which is the feature to allow your grid lines so you can help compose your pictures a little bit better. If I go to normal camera we'll just see that if we go back to the gear icon that it's just a regular standard 13 megapixels. So let's just go back to the HD photo or picture and then if I tap uh, take a photo, uh, was it the focus, and I just tap the photo uh, shutter. It'll take a few seconds to generate the 50 megapixel photo. 
just to note, if you're using Power Profiles, um, this uh, which is available on the um, on your phone, even on the stock OS, um, it can actually dramatically uh, affect how calling your photos take to generate. So make sure you don't use a power save and use the use a normal setting so you get the upper um, clock speeds of your processor. So now uh, we can go back to uh, if you want to actually view the photo. So I like to use Quick Pick. I've named it Gallery on my launcher. So Quick Pick. Um, it allows you to view the 50 megapixel photos uh, effectively and really easy. So here's a better photo instead of my carpet, one that I took in downtown Houston. So just a nice zoom of the of this glass building. Here's of the lake walkway. So excellent photo quality. So if I go to uh, the menu button and go to details, you can see that it's 11 megabyte file, which is pretty big. A resolution of 8160 six by 6120, which is around 50 megapixels. And then of course the ISO and other uh, focal length stuff and shutter speed. So here's some more sample photos I took. So in conclusion, the 50 megapixel ability is a really awesome feature that already makes an excellent camera on the OnePlus One even better. If there are any questions or issues, feel free to let me know. Otherwise, as always, have a nice day.